Hi, <laughs> this is Scott with Geek Factor Radio. We're here with the one and only, I just forgot, oh my gosh. I wanted to call you Charles tomorrow and I apologize because you probably got that That's a bunch of right. time. Mr. Mr. Curtis, Mr. Curtis Armstrong. And um, so uh, I, I, I've been a big fan of you since, um, you know, since Better Off Dead, probably like a lot of people have. And, but more recently, I've really loved you in like, like things like New Girl, and I've seen you like in, a little bit in Supernatural. Like, yeah. what, have, what has been like, um, and I, the thing I didn't realize was that just looking at your photo, that you're in like, do a lot of voiceover stuff with like American Data, things like that. So right. like, what's, what's, do you have like a, like, a, like a favorite between like voice acting or like, like, like live acting, or is it just kind of no, fun I projects? Don't. Or? I don't, I don't. I have, I, you know, I consider it all part of the same thing. Um, they're different techniques and there are different uh, experiences, you know, but I don't have any, I don't like voiceover better than television or stage. I mean, stage was my favorite. Mm -hmm. I don't get to do it much anymore, but everything is all just part of the same deal. Do you have a favorite, like, stage role that you uh, you did in, did in the past? Oh, I had a lot of them that I really loved. Um, the most recent one was one of the most interesting ones, uh, which was a Sam Shepard play called The God of Hell, uh, which was a very political play that we opened in Los Angeles. Um, but it was enormously controversial. Oh. Uh, and people tended to sort of hate it. Wow. I mean, not because of the production, but just because, because of, the of the controversy. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. So those kinds of things are interesting to have happen. Yeah. You know, and that's the, the difference. I mean, going from American Dad, where you're in a room with a microphone and uh -huh. no one else reading lines, and then going to a stage production where you're in front of an audience that can get rambunctious, mm -hmm. and then doing a film or a TV show somewhere, it's all different experiences. That's fantastic. All part of the career. That's wonderful, and I've, I've, uh, yeah, really appreciate all the uh, wonderful characters you've put out there over the years. But is there anything in, like, I guess, maybe in like more your personal life since we're at Comic Con, where you've, uh, they kind of get into and kind of geek out over, be it, you know? Well, I, my biggest regret about Comic Cons is that I never get a chance to wander around and just geek out at them. I did last year actually. I went with some of the nerds from uh, King of the Nerds. <laughs> uh, to Comic-Con, although I wasn't scheduled to be there, as a, I wasn't presenting anything or doing anything, but I went with them, we went as a group, mm -hmm. and just wandered around Comic-Con. It was the first time I'd ever done it. Oh, wow. And, you know, I mean, it's difficult because people see you wandering around and they want to stop and talk or take pictures and all that kind of thing, so you don't, you don't get a lot done. Uh, yeah. But I what I did do, I was wearing it yesterday, I had my... my um, Bob's Burgers t-shirt yesterday because <laughs> I'm a big Bob's Burgers fan oh, and I went there and they were all there all the people on oh, really? from Bob's Burgers <laughs> and so I went up and I was yammering and making them sign stuff for me <laughs> and it was like the first time I had done that sort of geeking yeah. out where I wasn't part of the deal oh, you yeah. know um, and it happens to me even now. We go back in the green room over here, and I'll see somebody. I'll see Gillian Anderson or something, yeah. and I just want to go, you know, because <laughs> I love Gillian Anderson. But then I get nervous and I don't say anything. <laughs> That's fantastic. That's yeah. I just it made me think of like four people I've seen that kind of made my palms sweaty. And yeah. you're you're uh, probably my favorite person I've interviewed here. So if I'm I'm a little bit rambly, that's probably why. That's okay. So um, I, I really appreciate your time. You bet. Thank you for chatting with us at Geek Factor Radio. Thank Remember you. to always turn left, like Charles DeMar says, and that's geek right. out.